this is Shanna with Florabella Collection. Today I'll be demonstrating how to install actions into Photoshop Elements 6 through 10. So when you purchase Florabella Actions, you will receive an instant download pop-up link, and you'll also receive an email that looks something like this. You click on the link, and it will take you to a page. It says click here to download. You click, save the file, I'm going to save it in my downloads folder, but you can navigate and save to wherever you'd like to. I click save. Okay, it says downloads have completed. Let's go to my downloads folder. And then you're going to need to unzip the file. The file may or may not look like this. I use in a zipping software called 7-Zip. So mine looks like that, but you can usually right click the file and choose extract or extract all. In my case, I'm going to choose Open With because I have two different uh, softwares, 7-Zip and WinZip. Both are great. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to choose Extract, and it asks me where I want to copy the folder to. It's going to copy folder, an unzipped folder for you. Here's my unzipped folder. We have um, the actions for Photoshop 6 through 8, the actions for 9 plus, we have some links. You can click on that, double click, and double click on tips and notes. Also, the terms of use and the installation instructions. So, I'm going to be using Photoshop Elements 10. So, I'm going to open the 9 and above folder. And in this folder, for every action in the set, uh, this is classic workflow, by the way, you will receive three files uh, the ATN file, which is an action file the XML document, which has the extension metadata, and also the PNG file, which is going to be the thumbnail that you'll be clicking on. So what you need to do is select all of them, select the first one, hold down the shift, go all the way down, select the last one, right click, copy, and now you have them copied and you're going to navigate to where it says in your inst installation instructions. Now for Windows Vista, XP, and 7, they're slightly different installation paths, so be sure to check with your instructions. But um, I'm working on Vista today, so we're going to press Start, go to Computer. You're going to want to click your C drive. Inside your C drive, you will want to choose Program Data. Now, it's not the same as program files, so be very, very careful. It has to say program data. If you don't see it, you need to go back down to your start menu and type in folder options. And once you select folder options, choose view. And down here, it will say hidden files and folders. Most likely, it will say do not show them. You need to click show them and click OK, and then you should see Program Data. Click on Program Data, and then find the file that says Adobe, and now you will choose Photoshop Elements, and then the version. I have three versions on my system, 7, 9, and 10. I'm going to choose 10. Now you will find Photo Creations, not Photo Creations thumbnails, but Photo Creations, and then Photo Effects. And this is where you're going to right click and choose paste. You're going to paste all of those files into that folder. Okay? So they're all in there. We're in the photo effects folder. We want to go back now. There's one important step and go back to the 10 folder or whichever number you are using. In this folder, you will see another folder called locale double click that and then this one says NUS. I suspect if you're in another country beside the United States it might say in France or, or whatever. Click that and you will find a file called mediadatabase.db3. Um, my advice is to delete that file. Some people say to rename it, I say delete it altogether uh, because Photoshop Elements will rebuild it and if you don't delete it, you're probably not going to be able to see your actions. So we're going to right click and say delete. Do you want to delete it? Yes. And that's it. Now what we need to do is start Photoshop Elements 10. Choose edit. 
if prompted. Some of the other versions don't have you choose the number. Just go straight into edit mode. And after a few seconds, a pop-up should appear that says Adobe Photoshop Elements. And it should say building contents and effects. Sometimes it doesn't say that. And we're going to wait for the database to rebuild. It could take up to 20 minutes. Sometimes it happens more quickly. But you have to wait. And it's important not to touch anything. Don't click on anything. Don't look anywhere until it's done rebuilding. I get several emails a week saying that all they see over here is black boxes and not the little icons for the actions. And that's most likely because they interrupted this process of the database being rebuilt. So the box has disappeared, and now you're going to start seeing some icons over here to your right. You'll notice that it says Show All, and you'll see some Florabella actions mingled amongst the rest of your actions. But go under Effects to the third icon on the right. And if you hover over it, it says Photo Effects. You're going to click on that. And where it says show all, you can scroll down and you should be able to see the set that you just installed. In this case, it's Florabella Classic Workflow. And if you want to see more of your thumbnails at one time, you can scroll it down like that. You can move your layers over. So here we have the Florabella Classic Workflow actions. And they're organized. All the top are the main all-in-one workflow actions and then you have your artistic effects and your uh, workflow tools and it's, it kind of goes in order all the way down to the bottom where you have your sharpening and resizing and other kinds of tools. So and the way you play an action is you pull a photo in and double click and there you go. So let's pull a photo in and now I'm going to play one of the main actions first. In this case, I think I will play Classic Color. Classic Color will load multiple layers. You have everything all in one. It's a great basic workflow action. It gives it a boost, it sharpens it, it brightens the shadows. Now, and it's a great base for all of the artistic actions. I tend to like my uh, images on the light side, so I'm going to choose the lighten layer and I'm going to increase the opacity a bit. Now, if I want to add artistic add-ons, I'm going to the very top layer that has the eyeball clicked on. Some actions have optional layers at the top where, the eye, where there's no visibility, the eyeball isn't clicked on. You need to go to the very top one with the eyeball clicked on and um, you can start adding on some artistic options. One other thing I should note is that you can adjust the opacity of the entire action. Um, by uh, going down to right above the background, there will be a layer mask group layer. And you can click that on or off to see the effect of the action. Or you can decrease the opacity, with, which decreases the opacity of the entire action at once. Or you can adjust the opacity of individual layers as needed. So I feel like this image could use something else. I'm going to the very top layer and I'm going to choose one of my favorites which is Sweet Tea and that warms it up a little bit. You can also increase the opacity of Sweet Tea and I think I like to add a little bit of color boost so I'm going to go down to basic color boost and increase that opacity as well. Maybe a little bit of rosy glow. Let's try it. Makes it a bit too rosy so I'll bring that down. And one more, let's try a bit of cross-process just for fun. And I like what that does to the teals. It just makes it a little bit too much. And I kind of like that. And if you want to start over, if you don't like the way that looks, you can go down to the bottom and there's a revert to original. Just double click that and it'll take you back to your original. You can try something else. So that's a glimpse into Florabella Classic Workflow. There is another video which has a complete overview of this set and how versatile it is. And all of Florabella actions and textures can be found at florabellacollection.com.